Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the closing bell, as they say on CNBC, the 3 o'clock hour. On a tactical basis, the crossover on the slow stows are still in progress, which is a good sign. We are, um, the fast stows are uh, also moving up. That's a good sign. We just turn. Um, the candles are still developing. That's a good sign. We hit the upper end of the candle um, close to... Bear with me one second. Close to the pivot, which I believe now uh, on the system has moved down to 217.37. And uh, let me check. So it's all good for at least tomorrow. Now, it's a very erratic and volatile market, um, especially at the end of the month. So as long as these uh, stoves keep on curling up, we're good to go on the long side. If they curl down and lose this <clears throat> heavy support at here and down here at 216.25, then all bets are off and you stay short for a uh, short while. So that's basically it. Um, keep on watching and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure that... Uh, The pivot is marked correctly because each of these lines matter a lot. There we go. Supports are in red. There we go. Bingo. So now let's see the picture. So saying all that, at this point, uh, the there's your pivot, the yellow line, which we're going to change to the same color. There you go. So there's your pivot. Okay, the pivot's 217.36. If it breaks above the pivot, then you have a fair shot to get over here and possibly over there. Okay, which would be two, uh, roughly about 218. <clears throat> Just the way the game's played, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Have the discipline of learning, and you shall prosper. It's a tough market. Keep reviewing.
So at face value, it's a good sign that we have the third candle development. Always uh, respect the third candle. It's moving up towards the pivot over 217.38. Santelli screaming in the back. Sorry about that. And um, and then again, this is where you hit resistance right at this point here, which is around 217.85. Let's take a look at the SPX. The SPX is uh, uh, showing that, you know, this gap that was filled, but again, it went and retested it, slipped below, um, came down to almost, um, uh, give or take a few points of the August 17th lows, uh, which, uh, I'm sorry, August 26th lows here, um, August 26th lows, and um, that was last Friday. And this is what we're seeing here. Um, Yep, there we go. And overall, make sure the colors are right so we... Uh, yep, looks like they are. Okay, good. So at this point, here's your resistance. Uh, 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 one, first resistance, 2170-25. The pivot's right at this. The pivot's actually... Let me see. The pivot's actually up here. My apologies right there and that's at 2176 when you cross over the pivot you make a run up and that should intersect into this downtrend line at r1 that's at 2182 r2 is at 2188 and r3 which will get traders euphoric again if they bought the lows and chasers will get punished it's the same old story over and over again um intersects at around r3 intersects at 2194 219392 so that's basically it you know there's no it's not rocket science it's really about watching these levels and drawing the charts and um so far um this looks like a continuation pattern at least uh to the mid bollinger and that's at 2173 so roughly about another 5 points from here max move today uh, or possibly the I'm sorry this is the 34 moving average downward sloping by the way on the one hour SMA the 50 SMA is at 2176 but you know you still got these hurdles to pass what's positive on an internal basis for people who are really uh, into um, looking at these internal dynamics is um, we have a nice rounded bottom here on the hourly on the slow stows so once it crosses over that should get us back to the overbought territory and once you get overbought you gotta sell simple here you got overbought you had to sell to get overbought up here again you'll have to sell most probably at this 2181 level that's what i'm going to do in the meantime the selective stocks that are doing what they're doing we have a strong mover at meli because of the brazilian presidential impeachment and the new guy is market friendly we have tesla moving on different dynamics we have clovis which is possibly a buyout target um twitter moving on heavy volume stuff possibly rumors about either some partnerships or buyouts i say partnerships uh, facebook has been holding out pretty good um netflix is trying apple is basically run by machines that's it keep listening i mean keep reviewing
powerful short covering as the pivot acts as a magnet. We're right there. And pattern symmetry dictates that we should be up here by tomorrow morning. That's 218.12. Position yourselves accordingly via the index calls, the SPIs, the SPX, the RUTs, the IWMs, and of course selected plays that I've mentioned. Amazon is green. Google is still hurting because of um, the EU sanctions taxes on Apple. Google has been fined a few times by the EU, so the market's a little bit wary of that. In the meantime, we have a powerful mover in a Brazilian play, Merco Libre, and that's uh, Mercado Libre. Um, that's an internet play, South American, and uh, that's it. Be selective. Good luck. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's approaching around one o'clock. It's twelve.